What's up, everybody? It's Make It Make Sense, and y'all, y'all know you can't be talking about Candy's man, her mama, her money, her children, her business, or she will respond. And today ain't no different. I told you guys two days ago that Tasha may not be in the new iteration of Escape, and Candy all but confirmed it. Like the video's intro plays, and we will get right into it. Make it make sense? Could somebody please make it make sense? Make it make sense, tell me how you squeeze it. Make it make sense, tell me about the things that you say. Make it make sense, tell me about the things in your dreams. Hey, let me work out all the things in between. Make it make sense, tell me how you squeeze it. Make it make sense, tell me about the things that you say. Make it make sense, tell me about the things in your dreams. Hey, let me work out all the things in between. Make it make sense. Y'all, you know, we literally be solving the mysteries over here. We are on the case, y'all. But yeah, I said two days ago that there's going to be an Escape 3. They're testing it out now. Escape started off, you know, as a trio, then moved to... Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> that was shady. They started off as a four-person group, moved to a five-person group, then Zeus came in, picked them up, put them back together, threw in Gunica and Tamar, the journalist. Then it was Beyonce and the girls. And now it's Escape 3. I told you guys, they are testing it out. It only makes sense if Tasha... Tasha is really going gospel. And I showed you guys yesterday on the show, she specifically said she was going to make a choice. We see her on the show, not necessarily going to rehearsals or confirming if she'll be at tour date. So that's my opinion. But I did say this days ago. People really just don't be listening to me. They don't, I had so many people in the comments. That's not what's going on. And I'm like, I get it. There is a certain amount of nostalgia that comes with girl groups. I feel like in every situation, you always hear about, oh, when are they going to reunite, reunite all the members of Destiny's Child? We really, really want Farrah back. Every... <laughs> Meanwhile, Destiny's Child never really broke up. <laughs> anyway, okay. Again, Candy does not play. We knew she was going to respond. We're getting into her response right now. But you know there's a few things you cannot say about Candy without her coming back at you. Talk about my man and my child and my mom. <laughs> <laughs> so this is what candy had to say um it was a couple of days I, I didn't understand what she said. she said everybody knew it not to be true when they were saying that his name is edward bivins because his name is edward bivins so i was like what is she talking about or, did, or was she trying to say tiny mama knew his name i didn't i didn't know what she meant so candy what hurt me i was saying by y'all didn't send her the memo she said for the dress they are still in the dress shout out to ricky smiley for getting this interview candy called right in <laughs> But this is the dress they're talking about. <laughs> she's still saying it. Yeah, she's saying she didn't get the memo. <laughs> well, child, she didn't send us the memo that she was kicking off the record deal either. But hey, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> so, Candy, what, what are your thoughts on uh, when Latasha said that she feels like she's being bullied right now? I don't even understand why she feels like, okay, she actually did an interview the other day calling Tamika a liar and basically saying if it's true that she took the money to put, post the receipt. And that is why Tamika posted the full video of her on YouTube showing receipts of where they had changed Tamika's address, signed the back of Tamika's check, and deposited them. If she had not kept, you know, kind of like baiting Tamika. So Candy was not playing. I wouldn't be surprised if she told Tamika, go ahead and put it out there. Candy keeps her ear to the streets, guys. She has a whole team of people. Um, I believe her main person is Jamie. And Jamie is in the know. Jamie is all over social media and keeps candy in the know so of course candy prop in my opinion candy probably told her you need to go ahead and do this because people are saying you know they don't believe you now the receipts are posted and candy now i'm not part of her text community shout out to my subscriber who sent me this but candy sent this out to her whole text community so she's not playing with her receipts candy <laughs> she's not playing with her receipts and it's sounding like she has tamika's back in this Oh, no. 
<laughs> and we continue. <laughs> Tamika, Tamika would have never done that. You know what I mean? Like, a lot of people are like, why is Tamika posting it now? Well, Tasha asked for to. You know what I mean? I guess she thought Tamika wouldn't really show the evidence or whatever, but Tamika did. So it's just like, as far as anything else, it's, I hate when people do things or, you know, and, you know, and then they want to come back and play victim. It's like, you're the one that's saying some things and people are, and we respond. Right. As simple as that. Now, you know? uh, if, you, if you had to guess, Candy, how much, uh, uh, because Tamika said that she was being nice when she said that the check was for $30,000. Uh, she said she was just being nice by saying that. If you had to guess, about how much money you think was stolen, if you had to guess? Well, I don't know how many checks were going to them before she realized it, because basically... Okay, so, all right, Ricky, I like how messy you are. Again, this is Ricky Smiley's interview. I will link the entire interview in the description of this video. Check him out. Let him know Mim sent you. Anyway, very interesting Candy could, if she really wanted to, go back and look through her account and see how many checks were received because these were performance credits. So they probably received the, um, the same amount. So she probably, they're, this is kind of like alleging that there was more than $30,000. But Candy's not saying that yet. But I guarantee you if they keep pushing, they'll come up with the full dollar amount. We, um, we received the, the checks kind of like multiple times a year. And so in the beginning when they first came, because we were late finding out, out about Sound Exchange, the first couple of checks were a hefty amount because it was like um, back pay, you know what I mean, for what they had already been collecting. Hmm. So I can't give you an actual number just simply because I don't know how many checks they received on our behalf. Right. Oh my God. Brett, so oh, my question yeah, to you, Candy, is. <laughs> Candy is not coming to play. You know, you've experienced so much success individually, not just as an artist, but also as an entrepreneur. We've seen Tiny do really great things. Do you think that, like, like Latasha feels like, this is her time to shine as an individual. Like she never got the opportunity that maybe you and Tiny had or if, if, could well, that be I mean, the behind all of this? Well, I think at the end of the day, we all get the same 24 hours. So just because somebody else was able to accomplish something more, you know, it is what it is. Everybody, get, you know, what comes to you is because it's what you work for. You know what I mean? Now, does she probably feel like it's her moment that she needs to do what she needs to do? That is possible. And I don't even think it's anything wrong with her wanting to do a gospel record. It's just for us. It's just every time, it's time for her to do a solo project. It's the attitude that comes with it. You know what I mean? It's like, you know, as far as her doing gospel, like, you know, we all wish her success. We hope that she does, you know, well or whatever. We're in a bad place, obviously. It's playing all out on television. It's playing all out on social media. But we've been having these problems. We just uh, that's so what long. I tried to say. I've tried to say that. You're she right. tried to she You're tried right. to make it like Brett, you loved on me. That and that don't mean I never I, I love all of y'all. That don't never mean that. I'm just saying Brad was ready for her. <laughs> if you haven't checked it out, I reviewed that interview. Um, yesterday, check it out. Everybody did have like a fear for her, and it, it, it is what it is. Like I don't, I ain't got the lie, Craig. You know what I'm saying? Like it's like, girl. Brad says she's pregnant, but she's still with it. Don't push her. <laughs> oh, and I told her I watched uh, Escape Still Kicking It last night, some of the episodes again. And when you tried to talk to her and let her know that you've always felt like that, you've always felt kind of like, you know what I'm saying? Your feelings got hurt a lot. She, they always took sides, and you know, and and your how you felt got pushed to the back because Tasha was the leader of the group, and she's like, well, I didn't know that, I didn't know that. Yes, you did. I just watched it. Y'all talk to each other face to face. Y'all both was crying. It was a great scene. You know what I'm saying? But now she's saying she'll remember that. So I'm like, okay, you know what? I, I'm gonna just. Well, she can go back and watch the first season. I, that's so. what I'm saying. It's right there. <laughs> yeah, it was the two of y'all. So. I don't know. What, yeah. Then Rocky jumped on and said, I know him. I know I know of him, and I know him from being with R. Kelly and growing up in Chicago. Brad was like, where you know me from? Stuff, But I don't know what he does in his personal life. You know what I'm saying? Like, So I can't vouch for anything that anybody does, or I don't know what goes on. I mean, I hear a lot of stuff. But right now, the show is what's airing, and this is what we're going off of, what we see. Yeah. So, <laughs> uh, for everybody that's tuning in, for everybody that's tuning in, we got Candy Burris on the phone. Uh, and then we, uh, just for the record, we got some uh, clips when we were in the commercial break uh, uh, that we recorded because we continued the conversation during commercial. In that part of the interview, uh, I have not aired yet. Uh, we talked about uh, another six minutes. Uh, uh, so, Candy, will the group be doing anything else or is Escape going to be uh, done? Or, like, they've got a lot of shows coming up. We got, I mean, it's just the three of us without Tasha. So, like this weekend, we in DC. We got a show coming up all across the country over the next few months. Um, and, you know, unfortunately, right now, we're just not in a place where, you know, Tasha will be performing with us. So it's just three of us. We're going to still be killing it, still bringing it like we have been. We've been doing shows without, without her for a minute. Oh, but, yeah, we know we, you, you know, going to do that candy for sure. So, so they are testing it, guys. They are testing it to see what the response will be. Candy is a business person. Read between the lines. So Candy, can, uh, so Candy, when uh, Lionel Richie left the Commodores, they got another dude that looked kind of like <laughs> Morris Day to fill in for Lionel Richie. Are y'all going to be doing any auditions uh, for somebody that, you know, I mean, because the show got to go on? Um, to be honest, we don't really feel like we need to do that because realistically, Tamika can sing all her sister's parts. Um, and it's no shade to Tasha, um, but 
she can't, you know, let me go. I told you that I even put on my Instagram. Thank you guys. I have got an outpouring of support. I hit 5,000 subscribers yesterday on Insta. I went viral posting a clip of Tamika singing at full voice and her voice is so beautiful and powerful and it's just clean. And so many people responded to that clip. I think I have over 300,000 views or more now uh, just about that. So yes, this is Candy saying you're not needed and we are testing out a three person group. It was very capable of singing all that this part though. Right. Candy, I'm not trying to be, be messing at them. Uh... Would y'all even consider? And is very capable of singing all her sister's parts. Shade. <laughs> oh, let Miss Juicy come out there and sing a couple of songs. <laughs> of course. Miss Juicy definitely. We got to get her out mate. <laughs> Miss Juicy is one of my favorite reality stars ever on TV. If anybody knows her, let her know. I would love an interview with her. I would love for her to come and review a show with me. Absolutely love her absolutely love her great singing voice so what would it take for reconciliation candy because at the end of the day i mean it's you know people feel like it's entertaining to see the back and forth but i hear the pain in your voice i hear the pain in what well, the concern not the pain the concern no pain yeah the voice. concern the concern no. because they're sisters and as black women yeah. you know we want to see y'all come together it may need to be a different version of sisterhood than y'all had before but what would you say it would take for reconciliation for y'all to find just a peaceful resolve I think it really starts thing. with the sisters. You know what I mean? It starts with them. You know, they have to work out. They have a lot to unpack or whatever between them. And then conversations after that can be had. As far as Sasha and I, we ain't never really got along since we were kids. And just like Bray already explained to you, it's like, I'm used to this. You know what I mean? And Which technically means there's not going to be reconciliation between me and Tasha. And at the best, we could probably just coexist. Um, without having another pow pow match like they did when they tore up that studio. I will link... <laughs> a video to all the escape pow pows uh, that have been had at the end of this video <laughs> and i don't think she ever really cared when and yes there was more than one and one while pregnant crazy things upset me but you know it's different when it's her and her sister so if i i just feel like if the two of them figure it out then later on you know we can all have conversations but honestly right now everybody just needs to take a break and yeah. and let some time in space, yeah. yeah. Well, Candy, do you think y'all will ever get together, back together again, and maybe just do a gospel album together all, for y'all? Lord, well, what's going on right now? I ain't giving gospel, friends. <laughs> not, <giving gospel. laughs> not, not at all. That <laughs> was shade. Shade. Y'all say, people be saying, oh, you know, Candy, she doesn't have comebacks. Candy's not shady. Well, she is definitely giving it now. That's a multi-layered read because we all know that asking specifically, will you guys do a gospel album? And her not saying it ain't giving gospel, friend. That is also a reference to Tamika, who is doing a gospel album. That's intellectual shade. Guys, it, this... It, every day I say it's heating up, but every day... The, <laughs> this is crazy. You guys are on the case. Thank you. So many straight shooters have hit me up with... In my DMs, letting me know stuff about Rocky, allegedly. Uh, another video will be premiering. Um, I have some info that I will be dropping on that one. So look out for that today. And I still want to do my Porsche video. So I'll see if I can add my Porsche video as well. But I know I have at least one other video coming out. So I will see you guys later. Like the video. Less than 10% of y'all liking the video. Subscribe if you're not subscribed because we're on the case over here. Oh, good one. And I will link those videos.